We're now going to move on to the uh, username and password recovery processes. Uh, in this part of the series, we're going to look at recovering a username, uh, which is slightly easier than recovering a password. Um, because in terms of recovering a password, we don't just want to email the user their password. Uh, obviously, you could do, uh, but we're going to um, force the user to change the password rather than just give them the password. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is then look at the username recovery. So what do we need to do first of all? Well, we need to go ahead and create, a, obviously, create a page for this. Then we're going to create the menu items that link to the username and the recovery uh, password recovery pages. It's going to work off the same page. We're just going to pass through a different get parameter. So nothing really complicated there. It just means that we don't have to create two pages uh, that essentially do the same thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up, um, let's say, forum. Uh, we'll just go ahead and copy this and paste this into a new file so we can make use of our template. Um, I'm going to save this as recover.php. Now we need to make a few changes to this recover.php file. Uh, we need the logged in redirect function. Now the reason we're using this is obviously to recover a username or password would you know, technically mean the user isn't logged into their account because they're trying to recover their details. So we need to uh, ensure that they're not logged in. It's, it's not a massive problem, but it just keeps any users that are logged in from accessing this page. So I'm going to set the header here to recover. And obviously the contents of our page are going to go here. Uh, let's just go ahead and look at this page now, recover.php. Uh, so that's what the recover pa recovery page looks like at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and add some links here to uh, recover an email address or a password in a moment, uh, a username or a password in a moment. Uh, but just now, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, allow this get parameter to be passed. Um, and this is going to look like, and I'll show you what it's going to look like first. It's going to look like mode equals, and it'll either be username. Or it will be password, and depending on that, we'll we'll do different things. Um, uh, and as I said, this just allows us to to have one page to do both jobs. So let's go ahead and start to do this first of all. Um, so what do we want to do? Well, we obviously only want to allow username or password recovery. So we need to control these variables uh, that are passed to a page. So I'm going to create a variable here called mode allowed or modes allowed keep it as mode allowed um, and this is going to be an array so much like we've done before for required fields in in registration forms things like that uh, so this is going to be username and password so we can use this to check that the posted data or the get data is is there and and uh, in here so a quick if statement uh, and inside here we want to make sure that the um, get variable mode is set so if is set of mode is equal to true and if in array so we're using the in array function which takes uh, a value which will be the get mode which will either be username and password username or password the second parameter here is the uh, array that we're looking in and that will be mode allowed and if that's equal to true that means that what oops uh, that means that the thing that the user has typed here um, is checked um, if it's in here okay so if it is we do something otherwise we can just go ahead and redirect the user off somewhere because we will assume that they're trying to enter a, a different value here because we're gonna have links that link to these values we you know we're not gonna ask the user to type them in manually in the URL bar uh, so I'm just gonna link through to index.php and exit there so if this is uh, all good, we can go ahead and echo. I'm just going to do this for now just to demonstrate. So echo the mode. So click on, uh, hit enter on that, and we are recovering username. Change this to password, and we're recovering password. Change this to something else. So for example, first name, or it could be anything in here. It just redirects us to index.php. So we're controlling the input that we get uh, through here. So let's go and add, add some links uh, down here. Uh, let's go ahead and open up um, includes um, widgets and login. So this is the logged out state. 
Um, I'm going to just copy and paste this uh, list item down here and in here I'm going to pop a little sentence in um, so I'm going to say forgotten oops forgotten your username or password and uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of this link here so username is going to be a link and password is going to be a link as well so now we can link through to the uh, same page, it will be recover.php, but this one will be mode equals username. And this one will be again recover.php, but this time the mode will be password. Okay, so relatively straightforward there. Uh, let's just go ahead and refresh. Uh, here we get forgotten your username or password. Click on username, we get recovery username. Click on password, we get the recovery for password. Straightforward. Okay, so we can get rid of that now because we don't need that open. Um, now we need to determine what we actually need to do in here. Well, um, the user needs to enter some kind of data to be able to recover their username or password. In this part of the video, we're focusing on the username, so let's stick to that for now. Um, so, if the user needs to recover their uh, username, we need to enter an email address. The email address will be validated, i.e. does it exist in the database? Um, we're not going to check if it's a valid email address or not. We don't really need to do this in this case because uh, if it's invalid, it won't exist. Um, so we could check, check if this email uh, is, uh, exists and um, then we are going to call this recover function which we're going to be creating uh, inside of one of our function files. So let's go ahead and crack on with this. Um, obviously, we need to build the form here. So I'm just going to break out of PHP and back in there. So in here what I can do is I can go ahead and start to build the form up. So form action equals something, method equals post. So we're combining here um, post and get data because um, we'll be having a post version of the email uh, but we're going to be keeping the mode in the URL bar. Um, and in here let's go ahead and create an unordered list just to keep this uh, looking nice how we have it styled. Um, so, um, I'm going to say please enter your email address. And I'm trying to keep this as generic as possible. Um, and by that I mean regardless of whether we are recovering the username or we're recovering the um, password or changing the password, we're going to ask the user for their email address. And that will start that whatever process is required. Um, so, enter your email address applies to both. So input type equals text and name equals email. This is just going to help be how we identify it. So let's go ahead and create a uh, the final list item and we'll just put a submit button in here, which obviously we need to submit our form. So type is going to be submit and value is going to be, and we'll just say recover. Uh, so let's take a look at this now. Um, I'm going to switch back to mode username, so I'm going to click on username. And now we have please enter your email address. So we type in a user, uh, an email address there. We've got all this rubbish in here. Let's just go and delete this. Um, and we are going to enter an email address like this. Click on recover. We're going to check if it's, if it's been set. Uh, and then we are going to... Um, go ahead and, and uh, recover, start the recovery process. So in here now, we can go ahead and we can say if something. So if um, is set, obviously, dollar underscore post email. So if uh, this has been set, i.e. has the form been submitted, if that's equal to true and empty dollar underscore post email is equal to false so it has contents then what do we do well we need to go ahead and create another if statement and I'm going to say if email exists which is a function that we've already created uh, if we go to our core functions and users uh, email x I'll just type so email exists we already have this function that we've created uh, and obviously we pass through the email here so if that's equal to true, we do something, otherwise we want to do something else. Now because we're not collecting a lot of errors here, I'm just going to go ahead and echo the error out directly. Um, so I'm just going to echo p and a p tag. Um, and I'll just say, oops, we couldn't find that email 
address. So um, echo, uh, otherwise we'll just say OK. So we can start to actually test this. So refresh the page. I'm going to enter a load of rubbish in there and click on recover. Oops, we couldn't find that email address. I'm going to enter an email address that is actually registered. Uh, so alex at phpacademy.org, click on recover and it says OK. So now we know that this uh, process is working, we can go ahead and actually start to recover. Now we're going to create a, a generic function called recover and this is going to take uh, two parameters. First one's going to be the mode and the second one's going to be the email address. Oops. Um, so the first one, like I said, is going to be the mode. We're going to send uh, the mode to this um, function and then we're going to send the email address. If the mode's uh, username then we send an email off saying uh, here's your username if it's the password we do something else but we'll, we'll be doing that in another part so in the next part of the video we're going to be looking at creating this recover function and a cup another function that we're going to depend on um, and then we're going to tell the user that their username has been sent and we're also going to obviously check this by email as well